Let me see their menu. I'm here at the fair. It's not raining on us. Hi, this is John Duran at the Country Fair 2010, and I'm here at the Lafayette, Cafe Lafayette, with Sherry Fisher. And uh, Sherry and I go back to uh, the times in Culture Jam, and she volunteered years ago preparing our dinners. And uh, here I am visiting Sherry at the Country Fair 2010, and I have a, a question for you, Sherry. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of tradition in the Country Fair, and yes. I know you have yours. Can you give us a little, a brief idea how that started? Well, I've been here 24 years, and my family have been outdoor cookers for probably maybe a couple hundred years, keepers of the cauldron. And so I was born and raised in doing this job. I started at four years old doing my mud pies, and even then I would make them where they were creative with flowers and stuff. So I knew back then who I was and what I was going to do for the fact of my grandparents and their parents before them, and they did food. That's all they did. So you have family here too. You have your daughter. Yes, we're three generations that are here now at Cafe Lafayette, where they call it the changing of the hands, where I am an elder here at the fair, and this is a family booth. This is a family gathering for us. We actually have two families here that are three generations full. So when we come here, there, that it is a family gathering. And then you have your volunteers. Yes, we have our volunteers and we couldn't, we couldn't do it with, without them. And they come back year after year. That my volunteer who started with me, who was 16 years old at the Grateful Dead concerts, when I did the Grateful Dead concerts, he is now 40. A lot of my teens are 40. When they pass me by and say, hey, Cafe Lafayette, I worked there when I was eight getting your ice. And I see them with their children. And I realized that this is a true family gathering here at the Oregon Country Fair for all of us vendors. As you I, described it, I, I think it's a uh, true expression because the Country Fair constantly raises the bar about uh, the food, saying about the GMOs in the food and wanting to change all that. The fact that we use silverware here. At first, I thought that was a big. Uh, inconvenience hmm. but now adapting to it that I see that you no know, that it was just better all the way around for the recycling that so I've been in the kitchen for so long yes that it's custom it's it's my kitchen is is custom and the first thing that I do here in our structure is about the safety there were things that, that uh, we do here at the fair, saying with the health department, with the fire department, with our water, that bring all of this together. And the first thing that we do is to make sure that our structure here at, at Cafe Lafayette is sound for us. Friday night, we do a catfish fry for a fair family. And I've been doing it now for 20 years. And it's catfish that my grandmother and my great-grandmother showed me how to do, and I've never changed that recipe. And folks ask about it, and they say, well, it must be a secret recipe. I said, no, that we dip it in egg, and we put it in cornmeal. We roll in cornmeal, and we fry it, and then cast iron, cast iron skillet, so on the grill. So it's just very traditional there, but it, it's always been great. But, but it, it tastes special here. It's the seasonings of spice, and that's what I don't give up. <laughs> that's the part. I'll tell you what I use, but I don't give up the, the seasonings of spice. Now, when you're co cooking over a culture jam, do you look over your shoulder when you're throwing in a spice or two? Is that, that's perfectly fine. Just wondering. No. <laughs> no, I don't because I'm with other creative people. Yes. That's the best part about culture jam. I, as a culinary artist, get to experience that lift by surrounding myself with other people who do the same thing. And 
want to cook as an artist and create a high with the spirit. To eat my food, I feel that it's part of being divine, that I want you to feel that way. I want you to feel good because it, it does go way back. It's about flavor, it's about culture, and these things are, aren't, aren't going to change. Red beans and rice and cornbread have been cooked forever. You can be Cajun, Creole, you can be Irish, and you've had your share in your culture of red beans and rice. These are universal foods and that. And the etouffee, of course, if you've ever been down New Orleans, and, and Lord, Lord help our, our friends and families who are down there in the Gulf right now, because these foods they have survived on for centuries and that. And I bring a taste I bring a taste of New Orleans to the Oregon, to Oregon Country Fair. One of the things when I started out here at, at the Oregon Country Fair and cooking the original red beans and rice and stuff, I used fat back, crackling, ham hock. There were just things that you raised on. And I sold one pot. I had to remove all that. And now, because here at the Country Fair, people are very health conscious about what they eat. And now it's the difference of selling hundreds of pounds of beans. And my chicken creole, my chicken creole also is a light and lean. There is no fat. It's boneless, skinless thigh meat, and a creole sauce has no fat in it. It's about flavor, and it's about herbs and spices, and the creation of love on a bud. Thank you.